All right, everybody, it's your girl, Robbie T. Um, I'm just going to start off and let y'all know off the top, this is some bullshit that don't nobody like to hear. Don't nobody want to hear this shit. Don't nobody care about this shit. But uh, unfortunately, I do, and you decided to listen thus far. So I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know exactly what the hell is on my mind. So the other day, I dropped my sister off downtown. You know, she live in the city now. Um, so me and my friend, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep his name out of this. We get out the car to help her with her stuff. I mean, I hear some ignorant, ignorant screaming and hollering or some shit across the street. So I turn around like, who the hell is this? Some little hoodlum, some little, you know, want to be gangbanging vice lord nigga. Besides, he, he got a problem with my friend being as gay as he is on the streets. I don't know what it was, but he decided, ah, see how, you know, start saying all this faggot, all this little shit. And I mean, that's always been something that just kind of puzzled me. And it, I just really never understood why gay men in particular seem to be so threatening to black men. I don't understand it. I think as black men, my my, my only assumption is that as black men you know it's kind of like it's this thing i'm a nigga I ain't doing shit with my life I'm, I'm not in school i'm not i don't have a job but at least i'm not gay it's kind of like you you decide to step on the next man in order for you to not look as bad as you do i mean hey i might be wrong i might not but i, I mean that's just what i see i don't i don't understand why it could be anything else so for all the black men who have been watching or have been uh, noticing this happen, I mean, speak your, speak your, speak your piece. Let me know what it is right now, because it's something that's really, really, really bothering me. I don't understand it. I don't understand if you feel threatened. I, I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard this before that they may feel threatened or they're not secure in their own sexuality. I don't know what it is, but this, I don't get this reaction out of white men straight white men when I'm with my, my gay friends. I don't get that reaction. I really don't. I mean, it's like, and of course, when I'm with lesbians or whatever, with girls, it's not a big deal. You know, dudes don't really, you know, they're not going to call girls out or whatever, but I hang out with a lot of gay men, a lot, you know, and um, hey, it is what it is. I don't, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just giving the opportunity for everybody to say how they feel about it. So leave a comment on this. And uh, we'll get the going on it. It's critical. <laughs> it's real critical right now. You know what I'm saying? It's, this, is, this is a problem. Because as black people, we shouldn't feel as though, you know, putting someone else down is going to grade our chances for success or grade our chances for looking acceptable in society's eyes. So um, leave a comment, post on my wall, cuss me out, praise me for all my, um, all my socially conscious, you know, postings and all that whatnot. Do what you gotta do. Holla.